come to neolearn dear friends let us discuss the food from its child written by pablo neruda which opens the new world of realities to its readers ricardo elisio neftali reyes bosalto better known by his pen name and later legal name pablo neruda was a chilean poet diplomat and politician who won the nobel prize for literature in 1971 neruda became known as a poet when he was 13 years old and wrote in a variety of styles including surrealistic poems historical epics overtly political manifestos a prose autobiography and passionate love poems such as the ones in his collections 20 love poems and a song of despair neruda is often considered the national poet of chile and his works have been popular and influential worldwide the colombian novelist gabriel garcia marquez once called him the greatest poet of the 20th century in any language and the critic Harold Bloom included Neruda as one of the writers contrary to the western tradition in his book The Western Canon. This poem To the Food from Its Child is translated to English by Alastair Reid. He was a Scottish poet and a scholar of southern american literature. He was known for his light-hearted style of poems and for his translations of southern american poets george luis borges and pablo neruda although he was known for translations his own poems had gained notice during his lifetime dear friends to the food from its child here a special attention is required to understand the title of this poem initially you may get an idea that someone is guiding the food towards something if you read it the phrase from its child make you to think so if you study this complete poem your opinion may change completely in fact no one is guiding anyone here but the innocence of an individual or a child is being guided by the realities of life the poem offers very different sense if you read it completely the child is a metaphor of innocent expectations whereas the food is the realities of life which is entirely different from the child's imagination so the most appropriate or suitable understanding for the title is that the journey of life towards the harsh realities from its innocent childish dreams which takes readers towards a new world of imagination the first theme in this poem is innocence with the help of child he brings out the innocence of human nature in the poem the child is completely unaware of the real hurdles of life it is it imagines life as a dream and enjoying its contributions the second theme is hurdles of life the poet here brings out the portrayal of real life which is far away from all the innocent imaginations and dreams in life one has to face continuous problems everywhere he reveals that with the examples of mines streets fields which pictureizes that challenges are common in every field the next theme in this poem is defeat neruda points out the common human nature of feeling defeated or quitting if he fail in his efforts and the defeat leads him to the prison in other words if a human being quits or accepts his defeat and keep inactive will be imprisoned and kept inactive for whole life the next theme is development and obstacles a soft tender plant cannot grow if it is damaged in the initial stage only 
Similarly, developing qualities and accomplishing abilities cannot be performed if they are restricted in their real life and early stage of life. So the worst part of real life is that it does not allow special qualities to grow and hinders the development. The other theme in this poem is blindness. With the help of the shoe, he offers the readers to understand needs and restrictions of society. The foot moves blindly in the shoe. Similarly, human beings supposed to move as blind by following social barriers, though they have their own vision. The own vision of a person is imprisoned and made him follow simply the system. Next, we can find the theme of opportunities and dreams. When the dreams are alive, life does not offer opportunities. It hinders or it hides opportunities with a mask of needs and priorities of life. The man's innocent dreams and desires remain unaccomplished due to lack of opportunities controlled by life itself. And this leads him naturally to get exhausted and never think of accomplishing them again. Dear, dear friends, now let us see the summary in detail. The child's foot is not yet aware it's a foot and would like to be a butterfly or an apple. But in time, stones and bits of glass, streets, ladders and the paths in the rough earth go on teaching the food that it cannot fly, cannot be a fruit bulging on the branch. Friends, in the first line, poet uses a negative statement that the food is not aware of the realities. Here the phrase, the child's food suggests the mindset of an innocent person. Childhood is depicted as a symbol of and the initial stage of life. Due to its innocence, it dreams and predicts life in its own way and think that can enjoy life by flying like a butterfly or an apple. Through that, the poet says that a person in his childhood thinks that he can enjoy or he can do anything and everything. But in the real life, it is quite different. The food experiences means that person experiences the realities of life where it ought to walk is not a smoother path or way but full of stones, bits of glass which means full of difficulties and challenges and problems. Emotional, physical abusements or torments must be faced by a human being. Streets and ladders and paths in the rough earth symbolizes the life is full of ups and downs and austerity which is inevitable in one's life. And he tells that these realities of life teaches the food means indirectly the man or the person that the previous imagination of becoming a butterfly or an apple is not possible or it is just a dream. Bit by bit, in that dark, it grows to know the world in its own way, out of touch with its fellow, enclosed, filling out life like a blind man. Dear friends, as the life or the growth in the life is a predecided aspect, it grows in the world of igno ignorance and builds imagination and visions in its own way. And out of touch brings out the concept that a man, when he feels defeated, keep himself away from the whole world and start defining life as per his own prediction and the praise like a blind man brings, brings out the idea that he moves aimlessly where the life leads him. These soft nails of patch bunched together grow hard and change themselves into opaque of substance, hard as horn 
and the tiny petal toes of the child grow bunched and out of trim take on the form of eyeless reptile with triangular heads like worms these gentle feelings and dreams all together grow but they grow hard transform into a different from one what they are naturally into opaque tells here they grow and lose the quality of accepting and receiving the rays of knowledge and only the untamed nature of hurting or damaging standards remain strong those the development of soothing pleased and beautiful emotions and desires stay neglected out of the opportunities to display their qualities and are kept alone by that they encounter obstacles and develop as very ugly and useless creatures later they grow calused and are converted with the faint volcanoes of death a coursing hard to accept but this blind thing walks without respite never stopping for hour after hour the one foot the other now the man's now the woman's the development which is depicted in the word growth which continues to the hardest version of it and takes the form of an animable to transform by putting these barriers but the unclear and unseen hazards of complete destruction or an end of life but this reality is very difficult to accept means we human beings despite of knowing the fixed end of life feel aghasted and disagree for death but this sightless move continues without rest and pause every minute every hour it moves here and there the visionless life is categorized with the discriminations also like man woman animal etc some get the upper order while some of them are pushed down in the war field where the life shower the weapons of destruction of identity irrespective of the class or mass it struggles equally here we see the partiality which does not affect on hardship man or woman upper caste or lower equally have a share of this struggle in life there is no time or opportunity to correct or to love oneself in this visionless paint journey relentlessly it works they walk until the whole man chooses to stop and then it descended underground unaware of their everything everything was dark whole man is driven by an unseen power which controls our lives once the life gets end then the foot or the man is sent under the ground or buried but when the body is separated from its soul or life it cannot understand where it is or what it is or what it is facing now and the real darkness means helplessness awaits and occupies it it never knew it had ceased to be a food or if they were burying it so that it could fly or so that it could become an apple in the last stanza he says ultimately a foot is not aware of the real facts of life that it cannot fly or enjoy the life as per its wish it's imprisoned 
when it is alive it is buried when it is dead so the dreams are shattered and never comes true or there is no opportunity friends pablo neruda's to the food from its child is not only a poem which can be enjoyed but an eye opener it offers readers various dimensions of life and teach to be prepared to face the realities of life with the message dreaming enjoyment is not life but enjoying every moment as a dream is life Thank you and see you in the next video.